Michael, another win at the county ground today. How do you assess that one? Big three points. Um, it's going into a big week now where we got Notts County away and Bradford away. So it's, it's, it's a really, really tough week. Um, I thought we were absolutely superb first half. Some of the football again we played was was, um, was first class. Uh, we started sloppy second half, then started to get back into it. Um, should have had a penalty. Tyrese could have scored, and then look, we we were poor. You know, it, it's probably the worst. I say half in in total that that we played, but. We've played better than that and not won. So I was absolutely made up with the way the players saw the game out. I know Grimsby had one or two chances. It was a little bit hand, you know, hand, you know, well, raised, raised pulses. Um, but we held on and um, the three points was all that, all that mattered. How pleasing was that? Obviously, as you say, we didn't play our best in that second half. We still saw out the victory and got the three points that's, today. That's the pleasing thing. And, you know, the players said that afterwards. Look, you know, we've thrown points away uh, previously and playing better. So for us to see that out, Grimsby, are, uh, they were right up for it today. You know, I've got a lot of a lot of time and respect for Paul. Um, they give everything. And um, I know they got threats. They... They're a team who work hard for each other, create opportunities, um, keep putting balls in the box. And um, the way the way we dug in and got the three points for me was um, it was very, very pleasing. A notable absence was George McEquin today. What's the latest on him? George is ill. He's woke up this morning late, um, like really ill, and I didn't want to risk him. You know, it's not just the fact that uh, he's ill, so he might not be at his best. That increases the risk of injury, and also I don't want it spreading through the camp. So um, yeah, George was away today, and yeah, that, that was that was his reason. The word in his replacement today, Jake Kane, a goal scoring return. I thought Jake had a like a steady game again today. You know, as twice he's come in, he scored twice. He took his goal superbly. Um, he, you know, he's looked where the keeper was, lifted it. it. It was a very, very good finish from Drake, and he has got that. He's got that quality. He, um, his left foot is it's one of the best you'll you'll see in and around the box. Of course, going back to our first goal, of course, Kempi got the opener, but what was pleasing was the partnership between himself, Youngie, and Chaz in that move as well. Yeah, it was. Um, look, you know, there's a. You know, Jake is probably itching to get his tenth goal of the season, getting the double figures. And sometimes that can play on your mind a lot. You know, he just needs to relax and just keep doing the things that he was doing. Um, where he's got the the nine, you know, he's playing with that freedom. Is no shackles around you, but it's pleasing to see Sado back to what I know he can be today. Um, I thought uh, Dokes and Romeo were absolutely superb. How teams defend against those two, I really don't know when they're on it. When they're there's so much pace, quality, strength. Um, and they are uh, formidable when they want to be, and um, sorry, majority of the time. So, um, look, it was pleasing. Uh, three points, a little bit close for comfort, but yeah, I'll take it. Over 9,000 here today. How important were the fans and seeing us through to the victory today? They were brilliant. I, I said first, first half, I said it's the loudest I've heard them today, um, especially over the far side. I could hear them, and they were right up for it. For for me, I would love I would love to have played in front of this crowd um, week in week out. Um, we're very well supported. They're seeing some exciting football. They're seeing a team who are giving everything for the shirt, and you know I think there's that togetherness. So yeah, long may it continue. Of course, another big game, Notts County on Tuesday night. What will preparations be like for that one? Let's just rest up now this weekend and train Monday and. Obviously, get ready for the game Tuesday. It's going to be a tough game, but as we know, you know they they want to put it right. They've conceded five today, um, but they score a lot as well. So it could be um, could be six all or nil nil. <laughs>